it's not a good situation to put children in and I'm not going to leave my kids, you know, so I'm just going to try to influence my area of the world and the people I encounter. Anyway, I'll save the rest of that for later because that's sort of a tough thing to talk about. That really is a tragedy. Hard for us to even grasp, I think. Thank God that didn't hit at night. Alright, so in regards now to being an alien abductee, you know, what, what y'all are actually wanting to hear about. Alright, something I, I want to point out uh, again that I think is an important question that y'all ask yourselves is why are you listening to this? And I'll stop there, but, but take some time to ponder that when your mind gets to it. What draws you to this? There's a reason why you're drawn to this. And you're not alone in that. As weird as it can make you feel, and as alone as it can make you feel, uh, I, for one, can say loudly that you're not. Like I said, it's the word would be flabbergasting how many emails I get. And I try, and I respond to all of them. Every now and then I miss one, and I always feel terrible about it. So if I ever do that to you and you write me, please understand and just write me back and resend your email or something, or what we last said to each other. We're going to somehow form a group of us here. I'm working on a website, and like I said from the beginning, this is going to take a little time because I want to do it right. So everybody be patient, but until then, just know you're not alone. There's an incredible number of us. And here's what happens. Here's the way it really works. <laughs> sort of take this in and then try to relate it to your life if you can. And if you're even trying, you probably can. So why else would you do it, you know? All right, the hybrid program's been going on for a lot longer than a lot of us realize. And like I've said a lot of times, the aliens, what they are, they're the angels of, of the Bible. And I'm not a guy who says much about the Bible. Um, I got some major issues with some of that stuff. But who else would they be? Even with our advanced technology, don't get such basic things because we haven't seen it with our own eyes or it's because it's been kept from us or, or we've been told it's not true. A lot of us have seen it with our own eyes. And if you see something with your own eyes, you should freaking believe it. Because uh, a personal experience, there's nothing more reliable than that, right? But here's the deal. Um, it's been going on for multiple generations now. I don't know specifically how many, and I don't think anyone's supposed to know that. But for well over 100 years, and I don't know how much further back than that, there's been several times when, they, when, when our planet's been visited and hybrids have been left. And, and the way they leave hybrids is, is so misunderstood. Boy, some people get so upset about it. And it's a gift to our planet. It's a gift to this beautiful place that we live on. And it is beautiful. Some parts more than others. But, uh... It's a beautiful place that we share, isn't it? By and large, you know? I mean, even with all this stuff we got going on, it's, it's just look outside sometime. It's just, I mean, the beautiful blue sky and the... God, I love the ocean. I don't know if anybody else is with me on that, but there's nothing better than watching the waves. But the hybrids are a gift, guys, and everyone sort of takes this secrecy thing as, uh, you know, the, the way that we are today, the only time anybody does something secretly is never to help. Uh, that rarely happens, and we got to change that immediately because we need to start helping each other and stop doing it for personal recognition. But that's how they do things. They understand that um, we got to do our own stuff. When they come down... I, well, first off, I think they're very terrified of the... I mean, I know they know it would be dangerous to them to do it now. That's why they aren't doing it. I, I, the further we go here, I, I don't necessarily expect that to happen. I think they're going to do their work through the hybrids, people here on Earth. And it's the same thing, really. I mean, that's... Genetically, we are them, too, and human. And I'm one of them. And, uh, you know, about... If you, have, if you haven't heard my earlier things I've had to say, something I learned probably a couple weeks ago, time sort of mushes together for me, but abductees, everybody wondered for a long time how they were picked, and uh, pretty much every single person who's uh, encountered aliens or UFOs is a hybrid. There's just a lot of us here, and that's a good thing. They actually gave me a specific number, which was intriguing, but the, in explaining it, they said, uh, Apparently, statistically, if they put a certain number, because the universe is by design, which I go into in some of my other videos too, so listen to that if you're interested, I won't go into it again. Not in this video, but it's the perfect number of beings to put in this situation, apparently they can calculate it somehow, that will guarantee success. Because 
uh, social dynamics are such that once a certain percentage of the population does something, the rest follow. And there's enough of us that, that uh, that's going to happen. It, without a question. And it will be very quietly. Uh, obviously, because they want to stay in the background. They obviously want to. It isn't that cool, you know? Like, everybody takes that wrong. It, that's so irritating to me when people think they're bad because of that. When was the last time you helped somebody out? and you didn't point it out to them. I did something yesterday, and crap, I just pointed out to you guys, I could not put this in, but I'll leave that in. <laughs> I screwed it up. See, we all want like personal recognition. Uh, when that shouldn't matter, they don't care about that, and that's what the secrecy is all about. They don't even want the hybrids themselves to know too much. Um, I, it, all of us hybrids have our roles, and it's interesting, the role that I'm playing right now, I think is sort of, explain the general dynamics to uh, to the group there's a lot all of us have been looking for answers and uh, boy I'm glad to get some and I know what a relief it was to me to get some so I, I just sort of figured that'd be appreciated and it seems like it has been so that's cool but uh, that's what's going on and all of us hybrids uh, have felt this need like we're here to save the world which is true um, personally one thing I didn't get is for, for a while I thought that fell on my shoulders alone and that's quite the burden and I think you know let me know if the rest of you guys felt that way too I, I didn't get until just recently there's an extremely large group of us and we we'll all work together it's, and that's a relief Whew. because like by the time you've accepted that you got to save the world on your own and I, I, I'm the only person who did that hey you can do anything right I mean you can you can accept anything and live with anything and wake up the next day so and that's true. It's a hard place to be. I think a lot of people probably listening to this can relate to me there. But isn't that funny? I always thought I was alone in that. No, nope, I'm not alone. You're not alone. There's a whole bunch of us. But what's weird is I kind of got a... Uh, I'm supposed to pass on what to do, which is... It, this is all still very strange to me. This is all very weird to me, too. So... But, you know, when it's real, you feel it. So, and if there's not a time to, for everybody to pitch in and help try to save the world, I, I'd hate to see the situation that warrants that. All we're supposed to do, and you can start doing this immediately, is helping. Uh, with the best, most selfless intentions possible. We're each supposed to directly influence the people around us that we interact with day to day. In whatever way we do that, for the better. That's how we turn this mess around. How, how easy is that? But that's our job here. And uh, I've talked to a few people that kind of see as much of the picture as I do, and a few, I think, that see more. And uh, so if you're at that point, start pitching in there. And if you're not there yet, don't rush it. Because I've found in the beginning stages, focusing on yourself and understanding what's going on within you is more important. Um, you can't really be helpful to anybody until you, you have yourself figured out a little bit. So take some time to do that. But um, little things. Try this, everybody. Try talking to people again. Our ancestors did this with each other. We've got the internet and stuff now, and, and like we text everybody and stuff, but... Try this, like, just when you're at the store or wherever you go during the day, everybody you run across, and don't be obnoxious about it, but, like, if you're in that awkward situation where you're, like, say, say you're at the store and checking out, and the cashier's there, right? Talk to them. Just, like, ask them how their day is going. And, and genuinely care, you know? Just, just give them 30 seconds to a minute of your genuine attention and care about that individual. And people can feel that. Boy, how rare is that? You know, when was the last time somebody did that to you? It, it gets an incredible response, I've found. You f you learn a lot about the world doing it. And there's no good reason not to. And I, I really can see the person uh, change almost in front of your eyes within the minute that you talk to them there. Because imagine, you know, that group of people especially, because they influence a lot of other people without knowing it. Because they... They interact with a lot of people personally. We take that for granted, what an intimate relationship that is. That's, that's, that's special. But um, So if you can turn their day around and, and make them a little more optimistic about things, and just a little bit happier, the effects of that rub off onto more people than you can imagine, and, and that continues to do that. 